In this video, we'll take a look at how to create and send an institutional claim from within CMD. The UBO4 institutional claim form is generally used by providers that admit their patients into a hospital or facility. Any user with the institutional claim permission can create and send claims to your payers. Let's dive in. Institutional claims can be created from the patient section, from the scheduler, and from the claim section. Feel free to create a claim from any of these sections based on your workflow. Regardless of which section you create your claims from, the process is the same. To create an institutional claim from the claim screen, click the Add Institutional Claim button. We recommend adding a patient to your claim first. Click on the magnifying glass next to the patient field and locate the patient you want to add to the claim. Based on the patient's defaults and settings, additional fields will automatically populate. You can add or edit any field by clicking on the magnifying glass next to the field you want to change. Once you are happy with your selections, navigate to the Charges tab. The next step is to add procedure codes to the claim. First, enter the service date, then click on the magnifying glass in the code field to add your code. The other fields will automatically populate based on the defaults of the code selected. Now that we have the procedure codes added, head over to the Information Codes tab to add the diagnosis codes. Depending on the requirements from your payers, enter the appropriate diagnosis codes to your claim. Select the ANSI location or UBO4 box number options to see where the fields will populate on your claim. If your payers require additional information on the claim, you can enter it in the Additional Info tab. To make it even simpler, you can see which fields populate in the ANSI or in which box on the UBO4 claim to ensure you're filling out the claim correctly. Now that your claim has been created, the next step is to send the claim to your payer so you can get paid. There are two ways to send a claim from CMD, electronically to the clearinghouse or by printing and mailing the claim to the payer yourself. If your payer supports electronic claims, we recommend that you send claims electronically. Under the Charges tab, you will find a status column for your procedure codes. This status defines what will be done with the charge. Should it be sent to the payer electronically? Are you going to print and mail the claim to the payer? Or is the balance due to the patient? If you are sending the claims electronically, update the status for the claims individually or all at once by using the Set Charges To option. Save the claim and CMD will take care of the rest. If you are printing and mailing the claim, update the status and select Save and Print the Claim. It is important to keep in mind that the application does not print the claim forms. You will need to purchase and load your own forms into your printer. Regardless of which option you select, our system will run the claim through thousands of edits to increase the likelihood that the claim will be approved by the payer. With our 100% real-time claim submission, if our system detects an error, you will be immediately notified so you can go back and resolve the issue before sending it out to the payer. That's all it takes to create and send an institutional claim in CMD. We recommend partnering with your payers for any additional info or requirements they need included on their claims. For step-by-step -step directions, FAQs, and other how-to videos on the claim section, visit our Knowledge Center at help.collaboratemd.com. Thanks for watching.